Welcome everyone to New Jersey's premier theme park. And it's one you've probably never <laughs> ever heard of. <laughs> We're not talking about Six Flags Great Adventure. This is Storybook Land, a place that you actually grew up going to, right? Yeah, it's actually, if you live in South Jersey, it's a very common like field trip location when you're in like primary school or kindergarten or preschool. It's really cute. It actually, after seeing your Enchanted Forest stuff, it reminds me of that, but like, Less cool. Okay, okay, so we're gonna get an Enchanted Forest-like experience, New Jersey style. If you've never been here, the entrance to this place is literally right off of like this main road. Look at this castle. There's like nutcrackers out front. I guess this is probably the main gift shop. One thing I will say, this place gets absolutely decked out in lights for Christmas time, so if you ever do, for whatever reason, decide to make a visit here, come at Christmas. It's okay, gorgeous. then why are we here in April? Uh, because I don't know. There we go, here's the main entrance through these doors. You get your tickets. $30 plus tax. Look at this, oh my gosh. Why is it like themed and they're playing like Kids Bop version of Uptown Funk? <laughs> and then the door opens automatically and boom! Storybook here. land. Now it did just rain so... Uh, a bit wet. Yeah, and I also imagine that there's probably not a ton of people here because of it. It is also opening weekend, fun fact. Look at this! There's a giant woman and a goose! That's another goose, you dumb dumb! Merry Christmas everyone! It's the Candy Cane Express. <laughs> Hi! Also there's a giant birthday cake in the center of the park. Oh, this is so Efteling. Look at these trash cans. Paper here. I love it. <laughs> Guys, we're literally the only ones in this park. <laughs> There's not a single other person here. What? She tasted the pork in the middle sized bowl. What? <laughs> what? I didn't know she was in that bed and she just like rose up like from a heart. Like from like, the exorcist. Literally, exactly that. They have a North Pole. So you can like stick your tongue to it. Like that scene from A Christmas Story. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's like the thing from Great Escape. If you've been there, can we go in the mouth? Can we get swallowed by a whale? Oh, we totally can. Oh. Well, it's back here. It's a hatch. So there's this hill, and there's a well of Jack and Jill, and then you can go down the slide. <laughs> yeah, one thing I'll absolutely say about this place, it is way more intricate than I was expecting. There's a lot of stuff to look at, which is like pretty cool. You know, it, it definitely does give me Enchant Forest vibes, but more in a traditional theme park sense. You know, Enchant Forest felt more like one big walkthrough, if that makes sense. Here's another one of those Efteling style trash cans. This one's awesome, it's a lion. He's throwing up though. He's throwing up? Oh, he's totally dribbling. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> you feeling okay? Say no. <laughs> he's feeling trashy. Now today is a monumental day. In 2015, I rode my 100th roller coaster, which was Fury 325. And since then, all my milestones have just been incredible roller coasters. 200 Twisted Colossus, 300 Goliath, 400 Mako, 500 Terran, 600 Hang Time, 700 Max Force. And that oh, last so one was in, that was in 2019. It's now 2022. Uh, the pandemic definitely threw a wrench in things. It took me a while to get to 800. But here we are. Bubbles the Coaster. What an iconic ride to make 800. All right, don't listen to him. This was not planned on his part. No. I totally tricked him into this. I was hoping it was going to be Airy Force <laughs> 1. Because he's like, the next, you know, the next new, like, big roller coaster good ride. that opens will be my 800th. And I'm like, oh, cool. And then I mentioned this little place, Storybook Land, back in December, and I, like, planted the seed. And then I replanted the seed a couple days ago, knowing we were coming up to New Jersey. And I'm like, we should contact the park. And I completely forgot that I'm like, currently that's sitting at 799 like, that's a great idea. And I'm like, yeah, last night, I'm like, yeah, they got a roller coaster there. It's like, yeah, so funny, bubbles the coaster. And I'm like... And I was like, oh no, no, no! <laughs> so, I'm so happy! Here we are. I win! It's gonna happen. Look at this incredible creation. What a perfect ride to make a monster. Look at this ejector hill. Oh my gosh, that's like RMC, the banking, the G forces, everything Guys, is perfection. Just fist bump me right now. Oh. It's happening. We're doing it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Go in the back row. Here we go. 
Oh my gosh. My happiness levels are like... <laughs> through the roof! Who needs wow. drugs when you've got this? There we go. Whoa! Oh man, that's a 10 out of 10 right there. Woo! El Toro! Oh. 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 <laughs> Why is Bubba Floki lit? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Let's go! Whoa! 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 And we're done. That's it. 800. I hope 900 and 1,000 are better than this. Every I will single make ride, sure they're no, not. Every single ride is going to be an incredible like, ride, and then just there's 800, which is casually bubbles. Everything else will be great, though. I, like 900, you know what 900 will be in this? Dubai, and like 1,000 will be in China or but something you know, like that. You could have avoided this, but remember that great credit debate that we did? Yeah. Where you said you didn't think Journey to Atlantis was best qualified as a roller coaster? Yeah. And then you kept it on your credit account anyway. This would have been seven ninety nine if you had uh, betrayed me and the rest of the viewers by lying. I don't want to talk about it. I'm actually really impressed with how much space this park has. This is all behind bubbles. Look at this. They could literally put like a B and M here. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> like a surf coaster here. The world's first surf coaster, or like an S and S Axis, like back here. Look at. This guy, what? It's like uh, off-brand Puss in Boots from ba Shrek. Basically. <laughs> it, it might actually be what he's supposed to be. <laughs> I don't know. Cool. But hey, you actually had a very good suggestion for what they should put here. Oh, the freaking uh, Skyline Pischetti Bowl. That That'd would be, be so perfect so here. so good here. Yeah. I mean, it's like mainly kids who come here. And you could theme it. You could have like Bubbles the Coaster too and theme it to like Dragon Scales. Well, yeah, because they can like decorate the track and stuff. So That'll anything. be your 900. No. <laughs> Why do they literally have like a smaller version of the new nebulas? And it's a Zamperla too. It has Zamperla all over it. They have some deer here. And there's something that's making a weird sound back here. What is this? Oh, hello. What? What are you? Oh, hello. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at him! Yo, are we at Diggerland? You can put some money in this thing and then use these controls and you just dig. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw this dude on a restaurant one time. Alright, it's starting to rain again, so we're taking shelter. We're doing the antique cars and look at this! What? Also, I'm about to get hit by this guy. Oh no. Got the you better rate me five stars. Yeah, that's my Uber driver. <laughs> she kind of cute, right? Oh, geez. And apparently a bad driver. Ready, watch hey, watch the road. I accept tips as well. Here's a tip. Drive better. Shh. She's sleeping. What? They have a house of cards maze. You know, if you're a kid and you can't really see where anything is, I can see why this is totally confusing. But the problem is, I can just see over top of everything, so... Look at this. Off with her head. Off, off, off with her head. What the frick? How deep does this go? What? This is so like Enchanted Forest. There's even a little slide. <laughs> Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Which dwarf are you? Nope. My name is Doc. We're glad you uh, uh, stopped in. And do you kids know who this pretty lady is? Snow White. Man, that's just creepy. This is like inside of a pumpkin. I don't know, maybe it just feels creepy because there's also no one here. Hey, do you think this place is like low-key kind of creepy? I thought that you weren't going to find me in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little creepy. We're on the train. The 
CB Huntington. Pretty sure it's a Chance Rides train. There she is. Lucky 800. What the? Oh, that's creepy. That, no, not like that. Here's another one of those trash cans. This was an elephant. You know, one thing I'll say about this park is it is actually very clean and well kept. I mean, I know it's only, at least when we're filming this, the second day that they're open for the season, but everything looks really nice. With that being said, I don't think I'd want to walk around this place alone at night. That would be a little too creepy for me. This wolf is about to sneeze and blow this dude's house down. Mary had a not so little lamb. Look at this guy. Hey, buddy. Hello. <laughs> that does it for our visit here to Storybook Land. What did you think? You know, it's a very odd, quirky place. It is. I mean, it absolutely reminds me of Enchanted Forest, uh, yeah. but more in a traditional theme park sense. The place is bigger than I expected. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot it more does. It intricate. Back far. Like every little section that has to do with like a fairy tale has animatronics I mean, you know very simple movements or just you know a little displays where there's um some sort of doll or you know uh, a little book set up with like some of the the writing from the story so as someone who came here as a kid like i have fond memories of visiting here when i was younger so if you know if you have kids and you're it's, ever in it's south a kids park. jersey yeah <laughs> yeah it's it's kind of like you know, most people go to like the shore. This is a little bit off of that, but only by like 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, so it, it's not that far. For for those of you who are interested in riding like Gale Force at Playlands Castaway Cove, it's like 20 or so minutes away from that. So yeah, it, it's not too far. I mean, uh, tickets here are $30 a piece. So if you're here just to ride the one roller coaster, it is a little expensive uh, in my oh, opinion. Oh, you got that rare credit for your 800. You know, I know, I know, I know. But you know, I. Honestly, the coolest thing about this place just is walking around and seeing all the dis different displays. Like, literally right in front of us is a giant woman and a goose. Like... <laughs> <laughs> all hail Mother Goose. I know. So, I mean, you don't get that everywhere. So, it, I think it's it's things like that that make uh, this place, like, fun to visit. But, you know, I said it earlier, I wouldn't want to walk around this place alone at night. It'd be a little creepy. <laughs> So like, scary. like, cause it's like a cheery, you know, like meant to be a happy little place for kids, and so it's a little, it's a little weird that there's not very many kids here, and that we're just some of the only guests here. I think. That's I think what it's makes a little one. Odd. It's, it's a little chilly still. <laughs> yeah, and, it is. It is. And you have to remember that, like, a lot of these areas in South Jersey are not heavily populated during like the winter and sure. spring and Oh yeah. Months. It's the yeah. summer where it gets crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so it'll get it'll get busy after. Yeah. This was a taste of what the what the place is like. Yeah, you know, there's not a whole lot of rides here, but I wouldn't say that like I feel like rides are not the main draw. No, with this yeah, place. It's like you, it is the fairy tale aspect. It's like a gigantic like cool like playground for kids. Like there's all I think that's a good way to, to describe do. it. Yeah, um, yeah, lots of little like slides and things like that. So, you know, it's it's cute. So, I mean, you know, if you find yourself down in this area and you're interested in checking it out, yeah, it's uh, right off of a main road. Come stop by. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios, and we'll see you next time.